Hey guys, it's Tom Shu here, and today I want to show you how to put on Clean Flight, uh, install Clean Flight on your Sparky board. Um, as you know, that Clean Flight is a clean version of Base Flight. However, with Clean Flight, they're porting onto different boards, not just the NACE 32. Uh, with the Clean Flight, it's got a bunch of different options as well, and uh, it's got a really good crew, and I kind of like the project, so I just started to, to learn as much as I could and get involved. So when uh, he put software available for the Sparky, I went and bought one. However, I didn't know I was getting into. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, there's many ways you can put firmware on one of these boards. This particular chip right here is the STM32F3. Okay, um, And this particular chip, it has a bootloader built in it, which is a piece of software that runs automatically if you short these two pins that puts the board in DFU mode and lets you upload files that are DFU into the processor directly instead of having to go through the flexi port or URAT1 or through the debug and solder a debug port on the bottom uh, this this requires a uh, FTDI cable to come through here but with the USB you just plug it in you convert your binary to a DFU file and then you push the DFU file right to the chip and you're done However, getting to that point can be kind of tricky if you don't know what you're doing or if you've never touched one of these before. So I did a lot of research and I talked to a bunch of people and I did it. Now this is what you're going to need here. Um, you're going to need some software. First let's ID this uh, board and let's convert a binary file from CleanFlight to an actual file on our computer. I'll show you how you do that too so you can always have the latest versions and push to your boards if you want. So there's a couple different Sparky versions. This is Sparky 1.0, and how you can tell, it has four pins at the bottom. Okay, um, right here are your bootloader pads. If you look at closely, you see right behind the USB cable, there's the USB socket. There's these two pins. You short those two pins momentarily when you plug in the USB cable, and it will go in DFU mode. That way you can communicate directly with the... Uh, STM32 F3 chip. All right. If your board looks like this one and only has three holes here for your receiver, and it's got these three little pads to designate voltage for 3.3 volts, then you have a 1.1 board. But your bootloader pins are the same right here. You short those out when you plug in the USB cable, and your machine will be in bootloader mode. And how do you know what mode you're in? Well, you're going to go into Device Manager. Now you can see right now that on my COM ports, the communication ports, that I have a STM Microelectronics Virtual COM port, or VCP. What it did was, is this particular driver, this Virtual COM port driver, converted a USB device and it made it show up as a COM device. Because if you try to communicate inside of clean flight with the configurator you're going to see it's going to look for a com that needs to go through the communications port well if you plug your sparky board into the usb without shorting those two pins first two things are going to happen one it's going to show up as a usb device and it will populate a little triangle underneath of the serial bus controllers it'll be right here it'll say us universal serial bus devices and it will say sparky or it'll populate something up here called other devices and it will have a little yellow explanation mark next to it and it'll mean that it doesn't have a driver installed so we need to be able to communicate with this board either in DFU mode which allows us to push software directly to the chip that's the bootloader mode or we need to have it in virtual com mode so we can talk to it via the USB cable All right and that would let us configure everything in clean flight so let's drop that back down so I track everything going in or out of my machine what it's connected as in the device manager so this is the chip that we have it's just like any other program when you update your firmware or your uh, update your your PC or your iPhone or whatever a lot of times the apps that are installed on your phone are designed to work for an older version and if the people didn't do their job well creating the newer versions of the uh, firmware and don't make it backward compatible 
newer versions won't work with the older applications okay so this is kind of what happened in this situation is that we need to use this program called DFUSE what this is it's a two piece uh, application the first piece is a file manager and the file manager actually converts hex files to DFU files and there's another software that actually takes the converted file and pushes it to the chip okay so let's go ahead and let's make a clean binary file to upload to the flight controller. So this is how you would do it. You go to github.com clean flight backslash clean flight and that will put you right on the master. Okay. If you look to the right it gives you a description of each one of these folders and it, if you this one says latest binaries with GPS improvements. So if you just double click on that object a folder right there you'll see that there's some binaries and some hexes in here and the hex is a binary folder we want this clean flight version so if you double click it okay it shows you 4978 lines of binary code but you'll notice it's got these numbers so don't try to copy and paste it here you can make a mistake look at the raw file and it shows you just a raw file of what it is and if you hit control a as an apple that will select all of the code on that page and if you hit control c as in charlie that will copy all that code on the page and then we're going to launch notepad it's just a simple text editor and we can hit control v as in victor or we could hit edit paste and put the code into our notepad and we'll click file save as okay and i've created a folder under my documents Call clean flight sparky hex files. All right, so we'll do this. We'll type clean flight underscore sparky in caps, and we'll type it as a dot hex. Okay, I know it says text documents, but it'll save as a hex file. Click save, and we already have one there. We're going to replace it. Say yes. Okay, so now we've created our our clean hex file we know there's no HTML in there anything like that because it's just clean we, we made sure of it we're gonna go ahead and close down the notepad we'll go back now we need to get our software now I'll tell you what we have a problem with with the uh, diffuse USB firmware upgrade software the file manager will not communicate with hex files alright now I've found out there's a problem you can see that this is December 2nd 2014 so just a few days ago the same person was having the same problem I was having whenever I tried to can select a, a um, binary or a hex file it would say unable to create image from this file so what I had to do is find an earlier version that wasn't 3.0.4 but I found it was a 3.0.2 now this is where I found it at I found it at this multi-pilot 32 and I did see that it was downloaded a bunch and I scanned it for viruses so everything was good. So once you download that you'll get a, uh, a zip folder and inside the zip folder it will look like this. Okay, Let me pull it back over there. There's your zip folder that you get. You open it up and you just drag this out onto your desktop. Okay, and it will create this folder. Go into your BIN folder and grab this DFU file manager now this is the other piece of software that you need to push it up but we won't use the older version we'll use the newer version for that okay so I'll show you what happens if we use the older version first so if we go to computer on our C drive we're gonna go down to our x86 programs and we're gonna come down here to STM microelectronics software this is the 04 version you can see 3.04 bin and we're gonna go this is the location of the uh, uploading software but this is the conversion software and when you double click it it's gonna say I want to generate a DFU file from a hex file bin file s19 click OK now right here in the middle this is your browsing file this is for a single file these are from multi we're looking for a single okay and the reason why we can't find anything because we created a folder right there and I know it's in there is because it's looking for an S19 folder we need to find a hex file 
So we click on that one hex. And then there's the one that we created with Notepad. You can see the time. It's 12.04 here in Vegas. 12.06 now. So we're going to double click that. And it's going to say unable to generate from this file. So I scratched my head for about a day and did a lot of research. And I found out, hey, there's a bug problem. If we look at that forum again, we'll come down here to one of the guys that's a pretty good um, guy. has got like 11,000 posts. He'll tell you that there's a problem. Uh, this guy here said he had the same issue, and this is what he did to fix it. And this guy offered a mirror. Okay. So I didn't use that mirror. I found another version, um, which was, again, right here. And I'll load that up, and I'll show you that it doesn't fail. So we're going to come over here and hit DFU File Manager. Yes, I want to generate the DFU from the hex or bin files. Click OK. Do the same thing as before. But note, we are in 3.02 version. Same thing as before, except it's on the bottom. We're going to go to Hex Files, and it's going to show Sparky, Clean Flight. Now we're going to hit Generate, and it's going to give us a Save As document, except this time we're going to be saving as a DFU. Now you can also see that I already have one there, but I'll go ahead and override it. So we're going to type Clean Flight Sparky DFU. Let me just take off that extension. And it's going to say, do I want to replace it? Yes, I do. It already exists. And it says, success for the image creation. Okay, so now we're done with the 3.02 portion. We don't need that anymore. Now what we would launch is I'd come over to the new version. And it's exactly how I did before. Is use the new version. And we're going to grab this one here. It's called DFU D D F U S E Demo or Demonstrator click that one now when you short the two pads on your sparky board and plug in the USB it will populate this up here to say available DFU devices if it doesn't then you're not in bootloader mode and you won't be able to see anything alright since I'm not in bootloader mode uh, I won't be able to show you exactly how to push the file up but I'll tell you exactly what to do um, what you'll do is you'll choose your file and you'll go find that DFU where I saved it from before Let's go to my documents. There's the folder and then there's the clean fight. And now it's it's loaded the file correctly. All right. And if we were connected to this board, it would say verify after download or optimize. Just leave those unchecked and click upgrade. When you do that, what's going to happen is, let's see here. Dun, dun. It'll show you STM device in DFU mode. It'll be selected and um, make sure you have the correct one if you have more than one thing. You chose your file and it loaded it just like I showed you. And then you click upgrade and it will generate a taskbar across the bot as it pushes it to the flight controller. And then you're done. Uh, it will also, this will pop up. It'll say your device is plugged in DFU mode so it's impossible to make this file correct for this device continue however click yes and it will go ahead and upgrade it um, and it will say target upgrade successful just like this and then you'll be done so that's it I'll leave the links to where uh, you get all of these files even the earlier version of the file manager and uh, if you got any questions be sure to jump on IRC ask away thanks for taking time to watch this video and take care.